Hello, my name is Roy Frady. I'm pastor of Willow Creek Fellowship in Plano, Texas. And I want to tell you about a book today that's written by a friend of mine, Kenneth Rob Kersey. In this book, you will find all kinds of testimonies recorded that will give you hope and give you that sense that there is someone who will never leave you, never forsake you. It is called Miracles, Prophecy, and God's Other Ways. It is a book that tells you what God is doing in today's world. And it tells you in wonderful, easy-to-read stories. There are stories about the miraculous. I myself could tell you countless stories of the God's intervention into my life and into the lives of people I know. As a matter of fact, if it were not for God's miraculous intervention in my life, I could not possibly be standing before you today. Miracles are so commonplace in my life that sometimes I neglect to give God all the glory for the wonderful things that he does. And he is there for you as well. This book chronicles stories of the great and of the small. People who you know and people who you perhaps have never heard of. People who have experienced God's intervention in their life. There is a story here about a pastor who very few people knew. His name was Don Piper. And Don was a, a Texas pastor. He went to the Baptist General Convention of Texas in Houston, Texas. And at the end of that convention, he was driving home and involved in a fatal car accident. You see, he was killed on his way back home. That was verified not simply by one uh, emergency medical technician, but by eight separate people who came to examine the body. Now, I have been a police chaplain for over 12 years, and I have seen many times when bodies were attempted to be resuscitated by EMTs. But I will tell you this, that it is very unusual not to take the body directly to a hospital in order for the hospital to try to breathe life back into a body. But he was considered dead on the scene. His body was covered with a shroud. Coming away from that same convention was another pastor, a pastor who suddenly felt the urge to stop. And so he got out of his car and went to the police officer, and he asked if he could pray over the body. The police officer was busy directing traffic and realized that there was no one to take the body to the morgue, and so he said, sure, go ahead. The pastor knelt by this body covered with a shroud. He said a prayer. And then he began to sing a hymn. And as he sang the hymn, the body began to sing along with him. You see, Don Piper had been dead for 90 minutes. You see, those are the kinds of stories that are here in this book. The kinds of stories that take ordinary people, people that no one knows, and shows how God has touched them. It is also a book that takes the people that everyone knows and mentions stories they have never heard. For instance, the story of Drew Brees and how he became the wonderful quarterback that he is for the New Orleans Saints. Or Emmett Smith, the Dallas Cowboy who is now in the Hall of Fame. And so many others. It also talks about people like astronaut Buzz Aldrin and so many others. There are stories here, countless testimonies about how God has intervened in the lives of people who felt totally hopeless for whom the world seemed to have turned its back. And yet, this shows, without any question, that God is always with you. Let me tell you something else. There are God's other ways. What are his other ways? Well, there are accounts here of how men working in a drug kind of laboratory, making cocaine, 40 of them, were introduced to the New Testament by one man who brought it with him. They were so eager to read it that they almost had fights. The long and the short of that story is that all 40 of those men read that New Testament, and all 40 of them accepted Christ as their Savior. Fourteen of them became full-time pastors. Oh, there are wonderful stories in this book, but stories about how Chick-fil-A or interstate batteries and so many others have given every credit to God for everything they have done. This is the kind of book that you can use when you feel discouraged to lift your spirits 
It's the kind of book that you should give to those who are in the hospital or are enduring a long and protracted illness. It's the kind of book that you can share with those who have no belief system at all. You know, the kind of people that care about what the Mayan Indians said would happen at the end of our current calendar. Or perhaps what Notre Dame might have said. In the book here, we have prophecies of God. And these prophecies prove to any open-minded person that God's book is the only book where prophecies literally come true. This is the kind of book that you can use as a witnessing tool, as a comfort to you, and as a gift for others. I really encourage you to buy a copy because this book, as a companion to the Bible itself, gives you real-life stories of everyday people and shows you what God is doing in the world today.